another Broadway masterpiece takes center stage in Cincinnati. Finding Neverland just opened at the Aronoff Center. If you don't have tickets yet, don't worry. There is still plenty of time to check it out. The musical is the story of how Peter Pan came to be and no surprise, there are some amazing special effects. So how does it all come together? I stopped by the Aronoff Center to get a behind the scenes look. Finding Neverland, the true story of J.M. Barry, a playwright searching for inspiration. You've probably heard the childhood story Peter Pan, but do you know how it came to be? That's what the musical Finding Neverland is all about, playing now at the Aronoff. We went behind the scenes to chat with leading lady Lael Van Curen, who sang part of one of the numbers. If you close your eyes and count to ten, you'll hear your dreams are calling again. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. I got to give you a hug for that. <laughs> that was really pretty. Lael and assistant stage manager Josephine Austin gave us a backstage tour, a look at everything from costumes to prop pieces. She has this, like, courage. Lael also talked about her character Sylvia and how the widow and her children inspired the man who wrote Peter Pan. Wow. This is all based on a true story. They met in Kensington Gardens and, um, they kind of became a little family. So it's a love story. It is a love story. And it takes you on a ride with music, dance, dialogue, and one very special moment. It's quite stunning. They call it the glitter vortex. We basically have machines back here on either side of the stage uh -huh. that propel air forward at different speeds. <laughs> After you hear the whoosh, the glitter falls, then flies. Oh my gosh. This lucky reporter got to be in the middle of it all, one fleeting, fun, first-hand glimpse oh, I wish I could say. at some Broadway magic. You are the only person who gets to experience the glitter vortex. I am. So the fact that I got to experience it is a pretty big deal. It's a huge deal. <laughs> to understand what it means in the production, you have to see the show. I won't lie, It's it's there's some you know, very sad moments in this show, but there's also just the most uplifting, yeah. um, happy moments as well. So I hope that the audience leaves uh, just with a, a full heart. And Finding Neverland will be at the Aronoff Center through November 19th. There are 12 shows remaining. Tickets are still available. And that leading lady was delightful. She was so nice. She seemed so pleasant. Oh and I got to say, that was pretty cool. Yeah, that oh was, my gosh. That was pretty neat stuff. That was like bucket list stuff, you know? Yeah, it, it really it, was. I, it took me back to being like 10. I loved it. I'd really like to see the mechanics of it. As a guy who likes that kind of stuff, I'd like oh, to see yeah. how they do it from a production standpoint. Yeah, it, so. it was pretty cool. Yeah, that's